You two boys cover the road out of town. You see any strangers, you hightail it back and let me know. Corey's opening up. Now maybe we can get a man's drink. From Corey? Jesus, that'll be a change. I'll be seeing you. Gonna stay and watch. Jesus, Corey, your horrors melt. What the hell do you call that? Huh? That's Irish whiskey. Does it taste like Irish whiskey to you? Made it in my own back room. Hell no. Corey, here's a list of the things we'll need. And what if I try to steal a kiss from you, little girl? I ain't a little girl. Take one step toward me again and I'll kick you in your eggs. My what? Your eggs! I don't like my eggs scrambled. No, man. Over easy, but not scrambled. Annie? <laughs> Annie? Well, little Britchard. He must be the brains of this gang, seeing she's got all the brawn. <laughs> Doolin. Mr. Doolin to you. You're really Mr. Doolin. Unfortunately, the one and only. Corey, give these two ladies a root beer and a sweet or two. There you are, little girl. Oh, boy, that's what I'd like. Come on, give me one of those. How about you, Red? Little girl, take it. <laughs> Don't want it? We'll have a whiskey. Oh, a what? Whiskey. Oh, you will, Red. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> will it be neat or branch? <laughs> I'll have whatever the boys are having. We boys, little girl. <laughs> All right, ladies. Belly up to the bar. Well, the blue ones will take you at your word. What's your name? Annie. Annie? <laughs> little Bridges. A toast. May you ride. Long and hard. Say ease up. Just put it out, Lauren. <laughs> hey, Corey, 
Make sure we put a bag of jawbreakers in that, okay? Yeah. I'll give you a jawbreaker. No? <laughs> Crazy Pennsylvania cow puncher don't get kin to that boy. Do <laughs> <laughs> any of you gentlemen have a smoke? <laughs> Smoking and drinking, what's next? Wait a minute. Now what's she gonna do? First, just offer a piece to the wind. about you fellas through Mr. Ned Butline's literary works I've followed all your deeds of daring do and bravery this is Ned Butline now what the hell does he know about us everything Bill everything Mr. Doolan riders Mr. Doolan how many two I've seen Th there's more let's move Let's get the hell out of here. Sick. Come on, boys. Let's not waste any time. Jeez, oh, be fast. Hey, you'd make a good hour. Bill Tillman. And I wonder if any of you kind folks have uh, seen uh, what I said about a half a dozen gentlemen ride this way recently. Now, I'm not looking for an informer. Just a nod here and there will do. Well, let me tell you then why I'm here. I'm looking for Mr. Bill Doolin, to be exact. Well, come on, folks, he's no hero. He robs banks. And those banks is your money. Yeah, and who do you work for? The United States government. But if you see uh, Mr. Doolin before I do, you can tell him that uh, I'm going to get him. I'm coming to get him and get him I shall. As those amongst you who know me can believe. You're getting a little old, aren't you, Bill Tillman? Be running down the best. He may be the best. All the rest are dead. But you can tell old Doolin that old Tillman is coming after him, and I'm gonna bury his calloused ass into the dirt. That clear? The horse is, uh, dead tired. So why don't you just take him to the corral? Yes, Mr. Stone. Now, is there a gentleman named Corey hereabouts? Here, sir. Anything I can do for you, gents? 
Maybe. Get out. 